rock climbing grandma here. My name is Riel, and today we're going to talk about Northern Green State Forest. It's not just a walk in the park. Don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Feeling like I should. I'm all good. I'm all good. Never knew I could. I'm all good. I'm all good. Feeling like I should. I'm all good. I'm all good. Northern Green Forest is a wonderful place to be. There's absolutely miles and miles of hikes. There's falls, there's views, there's ruins, there's mines, a little bit of everything, but it is a formidable park. Let me give you some tips and tricks on how to navigate this place. You're gonna need lots of water at least a liter to two liters of water. You're going to need a map, a paper map, because if you're using a map on your phone, GPS, your phone could always die. I do recommend bringing a source of communication, meaning a phone, because if you do get turned around, you are fortunate enough that there is actually volunteers who will get you out of here. Yes, they have set up a rescue center just for Northern Green to get people out of these woods. I feel just like I should this that new me. I ain't really tripping if you hate it, you can sue me. If you decide to go hiking in Northern Green, I highly recommend that you scope out the trail map and figure out where you're going and know exactly how to get there and all the other ways to I can't win them all, but I'll try. Don't get answers, but that's alright. Yeah. If you're here for just a quick hike in the woods and you've already looked at the map and you've already decided where you want to go in here, keep in mind that even with those quick little hikes, you can get turned around. The trail conference has done a very good job of marking everything in here. However, it's still very easy to get flipped around. And this is not just for newbies. This is also for seasoned hikers like myself. And I've hiked these woods many times and I still get turned around every once in a while. So I just came up this path to another path which is completely unmarked. Always make sure you can find a marker and make sure that you're still on the trail or check your GPS and make sure that you're still on the trail. I'm just gonna walk around here a little bit till I find those blue markers and I did. So if I continue to go this way, I see blue markers all the way on that tree right there. I know that this is the better way to go. Here's a little tip. If you're on a trail and you can't see those markers anyway, you could just turn around and see if there's any behind you. Because if they're behind you, then you know you're on the trail. So I'm caught in this rock climbing grandma unless I climb some rocks. <laughs> Another thing I would recommend is make sure you know what the weather is. You might come in here on a sunny day when it's warm and then as the day goes by it gets chillier and chillier. So you always want to have layers if you know that the temperature goes down at night. Don't do this. It's not good for the tree. You don't really need to put your initials in a tree do you? Something to be mindful of is you want to make sure all your trash goes out. Something might accidentally something might accidentally fall out of your bag, but you definitely want to make sure that you're not leaving any trash behind. So whatever you carry in, you want to carry back out. That means if you carry an orange into the woods and you peel the orange peel, take the orange peel back out because that peel will be there for years, believe it or not. Let me 
share with you some of the maps you can get on your phone to use for Northern Green. All trails, hiking project, and Avenza maps. I highly recommend you use Avenza maps. Avenza maps includes the entire area and it also tells you what the color of each trail is. It makes it a lot easier when you're trying to get around in here. It also includes the mine areas and it also has all the different points on here that you might want to see. Also, it will tell you where you are at any given point, so if you get turned around, you'll be able to find yourself on the map. Hiking Project also has a very good map. As you can see, you also have a GPS there, and it will tell you most of the trails in here, but the decent thing about this is it also has a mileage and altitude meter on it so anytime that you're on this trail you can just drag it and see how many miles you go so I sometimes pull this out to see how many miles are left to the car those are the maps I use of course you can use whatever you want but I highly recommend that you have a paper map because what if your phone dies and you're stuck Now there's one more thing you should consider bringing along on your hike, a flashlight. If your phone dies and you get stuck out here and it starts to get dark, you're really going to want that flashlight. That ends my day in so Norvin Green. I hope you get a chance to come out and enjoy this park. but. Just remember, it is a lot more formidable than you think. You do want a map, you do want a GPS, you do want to make sure that you know where you're going, how to get there, and that you bring all the things that you might need, like water and a phone to call out in case you get turned around. All right, well, thank you for stopping by. Fellow adventurer, it was nice to have you. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.